So you may have seen videos of people who have taken electromechanical teletypewriters and hook them up so that they can dial into a Linux server and access a shell prompt or something like that. Well, today we're going to use a TDD or a telecommunications device for the deaf to call into a BBS and do something similar. Um, it's a similar concept to what people have done with teletypewriters, but you've got even less real estate even though it's electronic, so it's kind of a quirky thing. But um, there are a couple things that you will want to do if you're doing something like this. So let's go ahead and turn this on. So this is just your average super print TTY or TDD, whatever you want to call it, from Ultratech. And one of the first thing you'll want to do is uh, disable the printer, which is usually on by default. And so you can do that by doing control three. And I've actually turned the printer on. So you want to see printer off. And the other thing you want to do is disable the auto greeting. And this is the thing that will identify that a TDD user is calling so that if you call a business or something that you know that you know somebody deaf or hard of hearing using one of these is calling and they'll know what to do um, but in our case since we're doing a data call basically that will just introduce garbage into the data stream so we don't want to do that so what we will do is we want options which is control 9 control 9 and you can page through the different options by hitting the return key until you find the option that you want. And the one that we are looking for is auto ID. So we turn it, it's off now, we turn it on. So by default, that is, is what it will do, is it will do the auto ID. You wanna make sure that that's off. And if you're curious, it's actually sending three spaces but you might not want three spaces being sent automatically whenever this is idle. So make sure that that's off and then hit escape to save and get out of there. Now this TDD can operate in either um, direct connect mode. You see the phone jacks there. You could actually plug a phone into this as well and plug this right into the phone line. And of course you've got an acoustic coupler up here and that's what I'll be using today just because I find that easier um, to just dial on the phone and then just put the handset right in there and it works perfectly fine. So I'll be calling into uh, the BBS now which has been set up. There are two things that I had to do for this. First was I added auto code support to the soft modem, that uh, the Astro soft modem. So it supports both 45.45 US BPS as well as uh, the international 50 BPS. We're going to be using 45.45, of course. And um, so that's that's how it actually, um, that's what's doing the, the modem on the server side. And then there is a um, special network login services driver for uh, sort of optimized for handling TDD calls. Um, it's very similar to the Telnet one, um, but basically it'll set the profile uh, for sort of a TDD mode so that the connection will be optimized more for a TDD. For example, you wouldn't want ANSI escape sequences sent to the TDD since it won't know what to do with those. And we can also send shorter output than we might otherwise if we had you know, a full terminal uh, available to us. So with that, let's go ahead and make our call. I'm gonna be using this phone over here and I'll get that snugly in the coupler there and I'll dial into the BBS. And here we are. We have just entered the FreakNet BBS and this is at least the introduction that is set up for, um, for 
uh, for the TDD version. Now I'm going to go ahead and spy on the node from the sysop console here. Um, actually, that was the wrong node. Um, and it just disconnected from the BBS. So let me try this again here. Great. And now this is in spying mode. So the next time the output is written to the terminal there, you should see it here as well. So it's just going ahead and doing the intro here. And now it says hit a key, so we'll hit a key. And we see here the sysop can see exactly what was sent to uh, the TDD. I know that's a little bit small, but it just says to log in here. So we can go ahead and say guest for a guest login and hit enter. And you'll see here one problem that I'm having right now is um, I found that when you hit return on here, it actually sends carriage return line feed carriage return as opposed to just carriage return line feed. There's an extra carriage return. And so the BBS thinks that two line feeds or, or you know, two enters essentially have been sent when really only one has. And so that is a problem right now that I have to deal with. So just for the sake of, you know, getting through this, I am uh, going to go ahead and um, uh, cheat a little bit and use the sysop console to navigate through here. Of course, you'll see that everything that shows up there shows up here and vice versa. So... And so you can see exactly what I typed in there. And then it says, please enter your location. And so we can enter that here, actually. And we see that that is there. And then, of course, we got all this stuff that's going to be printed out to the screen as well. And... It will take a little bit for this to, to finish. Um, I haven't yet gotten to, I started optimizing some parts of the BBS for, for TDDs, but not everything yet. And it seems like it stopped here for some reason. But if I go ahead and I hit a key, I think that will, okay. So it said invalid option there, you can see. And it, you see that here as well. I can go ahead and do the C option. I think that should get me into a chat uh, channel here. Yep, it says welcome to, it says dollar sign, but it's really pound. So welcome to the general channel. Type slash quit to quit and slash help for help. And it says there's currently no other users in the channel. Now what I can do here is um, I have a, um, let me get it. So I've just logged in on node two and I can see that <laughs> somebody is logged on via TDD device and, uh, okay. And so if I, you know, you see this looks very different because this is the normal view of the BBS as opposed to the one that's optimized for that. If I hit C for chat, now I can see that there's two users in here. One other user is currently in the channel. So I can say hello there. And we see that indeed, hello there. So, um, and again, this isn't something I've touched either. Probably for TDDs, you wouldn't want to print timestamps and all that jazz, but we can say hello yourself. And there we go. Hello yourself. Of course, it's all caps because there is no lowercase on one of these. And you see that uh, it's it's printed out an error message. If we go back to the sysop console here, um, 
you can see that this is, you know, a better view of... This is the same thing that we get on there, but you can see more of what's going on. Is again, because of the double line feed thing that's going on, like if I were to just hit enter here, um, or not a slash, just enter. Yeah, empty messages are not allowed. Um, and so that's what's going on there because every time we can enter, it's sending two enters really. So that is something that will still need to be worked out. But, um, you know, I can send another message. And uh, let's see here. Uh, for some reason, that one didn't seem to go through. Let me try it again. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was uh, just delayed a little bit because of some output that was pending. Yep, and there we go. So it's a little bit slow, but this is 45 bits per second, so it's kind of what you would expect. And every time that I hit enter, it's paging that whole error message again, which is taking forever, so. But, um, so here's the next message scrolling through with the timestamp and the user that sent it. And hello. So you could actually do real-time chat, you know, hop on IRC or whatever from here. Um, you know, still some stuff to be built out. But this is a demonstration. This is really more of a proof of concept um, that I just got working earlier today with all of the different pieces that you can indeed use a TDD as a computer terminal if you're crazy enough to think about doing something like that. So there are some things that you'll need to work around. For example, um, it says to quit the channel, uh, do slash quit. So we can try that here. We'll do shift and then slash and then quit. And then it says it doesn't like what we did. Um, Let's see. Actually, maybe that, that did work here. Um, some things do not work, and so I do want to briefly point out here. If you look at the actual uh, V18 specification, um, for example, one thing that I can't get working is if you hit the app symbol here, like if you just do shift app, you'll see it show up there, but um, it's not really meaningfully encoded in baud code. In fact, on this table, you don't even see the at symbol. Um, it, it literally doesn't exist. There is no encoding for it. So the TDD actually has no way of sending that symbol to the server. Um, there, there just is no encoding. Um, you can send an at symbol to the TDD but it will be displayed as an X because you'll see that the code for it is 11101, which is the same as 11101, which is the same as 11101 here. There's a lot of duplication. So for things outside of your normal alphanumeric characters, it can be hit or miss in terms of what you're able to do. So it's a little bit clunky, and again, this is where other things need to be added to add some of that support and make this a more streamlined experience than it is now. But it is possible. It just needs to be done. So um, let me see here where we are. Okay, invalid option. So we're back on the main screen uh, of, of the BBS. In fact, you can see what you would see if you were at a computer terminal instead of at a TDD over there. We do Q, that should quit the main menu that'll ask us if we want to disconnect from the BBS and press Y to confirm and now it's gonna show the goodbye message um, before it hangs up on us and 
disconnects the node. And that's it. You'll see that uh, the sysop now sees that node 1 has disconnected, so the spying has ended. And so that is that.